do a, uh, a motion tween. Uh, again, motion tweens use, use symbols, and um, I can't have on the same layer as a, as a shape tween, so I have to create a new layer. And I'll just create another object here. And this time we'll uh, just make it red. Can you make a shape tween move across the stage, or does it stay in the same spot? Shape t uh, a shape tween? Uh, like, could you have that one go from the left to the right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll, 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 do, I'll just do that real quick. Uh, we'll just start this over here. And um, over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you, you can actually do like this like weird morphing thing. It's weird across. So, yeah, you can do that. Um, so we have. We have a shape now. We can see that this is all, all gray. Um, there is, in CS4, they changed how you create tweening. Um, basically, in CS4, as long as you have one keyframe and then you have uh, just blank frames, not blank frames, if you actually have just uh, denoted frames um, through your timeline, you just right click anywhere on the timeline and uh, do create motion tween. Now this object wasn't, I didn't convert it to a symbol first, so it gives me this error message saying that, uh, that it, needs, it needs to convert the object to a symbol. Just hit OK and it automatically created a symbol. If we go to our library, we can see we now have a little square symbol in there. Um, now, basically, all I have to do is, is click anywhere on the timeline, and I can move this over here, scroll and move it over there. Um, and I don't have to actually create individual keyframes. It automatically creates keyframes with the shape tweening. And it's, it's going to animate this. Um, if you want to play your animation just to see how it looks, you just hit uh, Enter, and it'll play it. Hit uh, Control Enter will actually create uh, basically it, it tests your movie and, and uh, allows you to see your animation just loop over and over again. And it can be it can be good to, to actually see what your an animation is going to look like because um, a lot of times if you're going to be doing uh, you're going to nest symbols you're going to you're going to nest animations. For instance, <laughs> maybe I want this. The symbol to constantly rotate through um, just just do a 360 constantly spin around in a circle. Um, so what I would do is we just double click on the symbol, and now we're in like the isolation mode for that symbol. You can change. You can see up top now we have scene one and then we have symbol two. That lets us know that we're in isolation mode. Um, and I'm just going to create a, a little animation, like a little five second animation. And I'm going to uh, just right click and insert frame. Then I'm going to right click again anywhere on that old timeline and do uh, create motion tween. And the selected item cannot be, you know, tween. So it's going to make another symbol. So basically, it's, it's a nested symbol. Then we have two symbols, one symbol inside of another symbol. Um, and what I'm going to do is just click on that and we'll. I'm just going to spin this right around. Okay. Uh, so I just spun it. Did I not create the motion tween? I did. Okay, for some reason it didn't. <laughs> the reason is because um, it rotated it completely around, so it's like this, it's the same, the same actual rotation. Uh, what you can do is you can um, pick a direction and then do how many times you want it to rotate. Do one, so now it actually rotates around. Uh, <laughs> so something to think about. Sometimes like you you try to animate something and you're like, why did that work? Uh, if you move it back to the same position or you 
like, like I did, rotate it back into the same position, it's, it's going to be like, okay, what do you want me to do? It's in the same place as it was. <laughs> so, uh, but we do have the ability to do the that rotate. So, and, uh, so now we have this rotating around. Now we can go back to scene one, and we'll play this. And we can see that it's not rotating around, right? And the reason why you're not seeing it rotate around is because we have a nested symbol. And right now, I'm just playing this timeline. I'm not playing the, the I'm not actually testing the movie. So if you if you hit control shit uh, control enter, um, yeah, and you can see it looks really really funny, uh, but it's actually rotating it around um, <laughs> many <Just> quickly. <laughs> very, yeah, yeah, very. Right. It's doing very quickly, but it's ro so it's rotating and it's moving across um, the motion path there. I look at your eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This isn't gonna cause seizures at all. No. <laughs> so. Um, so that's <laughs> the difference between testing a movie and actually just scrubbing through your timeline or playing your timeline is when you play your timeline, you're not going to see any nested items like that. Okay, any questions so far? Okay. Um, there is, uh, I'm going to just delete this. Create a new layer and then delete the f delete the first one too. And uh, we'll just create an oval. A new thing with uh, I think it's new in CS4 is is there is a um, motion presets. You might have had it in CS3, but. Uh, this basically allows you to oh. add a preset to to an object. So we can select our object, and we can use any one of these motion presets to either get you started. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> um, so we we tried this. We just hit apply. Again, it'll tell me that um, it's not a symbol, so it needs to create a symbol. Just okay. And then it just animates it for you. And um, so we, we can play through this here. We can see that it did just like it said it was going to do <laughs> in our motion presets there. Um, we could also do, we can do a bounce and apply that. And it gives you this warning message. Do you really want to replace the current motion object with a new selection? Just hit yes. You can see we no longer have that blur. If we wanted the blur, um, let me undo that. If you wanted the blur and the bounce, you would have to create a symbol out of this. And so you'd be basically creating another nested symbol. Um, so you just go to modify, convert to symbol. We'll call it a blur ball. And then you should be able to apply. No. Okay. No, it, it did, but since it was on the timeline with with that um, with the animation that I had, it wasn't allowing me to to add another animation to it. So basically, if I just if I delete it, and I should be able to put it back. I didn't test this, so we'll see if this works. Uh, I should be able to put it back and then add the other preset to it, or it might be a, one of a limitation of the presets. Okay, so it looks like it's a limitation of the presets where you can only apply one preset. 
to, to an object. 